In the last example, we saw what happened when we just had y and we didn't have any x. So let's flip that around. What if you just have x in your equation and no y? Well, if you were to try to complete a t-table of values, x equals 5, and x can only equal 5. It doesn't matter what you do, x can't be anything but 5. y, that's not even here, is free to be anything and everything that it wants to be. So it could be negative 4, it could be 0, it could be 3. It doesn't matter because it's not going to change the fact that x equals 5. There's no place to plug in a y. And so what that means for us for the graph, we've got 5, negative 4, 5, 0, 5, 3, really anything as long as x is 5. Look at the ordered pair here. This is 5, 3. This one is 5, 0. And this is 5, negative 4. So when it's x equals 5, this is the only place where these guys can be. And so you end up with the vertical line right here. All right. So that's how you would graph something like x equals 5. Now, just like we did for the one with y, let's try to identify the slope. So again, the slope is rise over run. If I go from, let's say, this point to here, let's see what we get. My rise is up 3. My run is going to be 0 because I didn't go left or right at all. So when I, oh, wait a minute, dividing by 0, well, that means that my slope is undefined. Remember, when 0 is under the line, the expression is undefined. So the slope for a vertical line is going to be undefined. Now, this is x equals 5. So it's going to be this vertical line, and it can't tilt at all. Because see, if x were to tilt, if we were to change this at all from here, and we were to tilt it like that, all of a sudden you'd have x values that weren't equal to 5. So it's only this vertical line that will have x values of 5. Now there's a little acronym uh, of sorts to help us out with these uh, kinds of equations. So HOY and VUX. So H stands for having horizontal lines. So you're going to have a horizontal line and that means that the slope is going to be 0 and this happens when you have just y equals b, and there is no, there's no x term. So horizontal lines have a slope of 0, and that's just when you have y, just y. v, so that means you're going to have a vertical line, which will have an undefined slope. And this happens when you have just x is equal to a number, where in this case, like we saw in this example, there is no y term. So if you have just y, the horizontal line. If you have just x, the vertical line. When you have x and y together, that's when the lines are slanted and the slope is something more than just zero or undefined. All right, one more guy. Let's take a look at 2y minus 9 is equal to zero. Well, you'll notice here that you only have y, so that fits in this form right here, so we know it's a horizontal line, we know the slope is going to be 0, but we need to get it solved for y. So that means we need to move the 9 to the other side. So let's add 9 on both sides. 2y equals 9, and finish solving for y by dividing both sides by 2. So y is equal to 9 halves. Now when we graph this, it might make more sense for you to read this as a mixed number. 9 halves is 4 and a half. Don't look at this as a slope. Don't say, oh, I'm going to go up 9 over 2. No, because this isn't 9 halves x. This is just 9 halves. So that means we're looking at a horizontal line where every y coordinate is 4 and a half. So you can start here at 4 and a half. And no matter where you go, you keep this at 4.5 all the way left, all the way right. And that's going to be your horizontal line. So line it up. And we make it nice and neat, just like that. 
and you're gonna see that your slope is going to be zero. You're not going up, you're not going down, so your slope is zero. And there you go. That's your review for graphing linear equations.